seen how modern robots work with their hands? Engineers are working hard, but some objects still cause difficulties. A US company offers an interesting solution to this problem. Why not replace hands, claws, and other things with tentacles? So they did. They took hollow rubber tubes about 30 centimeters long and made one side thicker and the other side thinner. When pressure is applied, the tubes curl up, holding even fragile objects reliably. From picking vegetables to sorting glassware to medical operations, the technology has great potential. This robot is a little more specialized. It was made for AI researchers. The task is simple. The robot holds a plate with a ball on it, and you need to teach it to not drop the ball. In order to do that, you'll need to learn the Inkling programming language, created just for training AI. Moreover, according to the instruction on Microsoft's website, it'll take just 15 minutes for the AI to learn how to hold the ball. The creators of the robot say that it's made from scratch, specifically to illustrate the peculiarities of working with AI in the real world. The robot's reactions and skill are dependent on the control method, which users can test and evaluate against their own trained models, they add. In addition, it comes with an open source code and files for 3D printing. Delivery workers today use all kinds of vehicles, from scooters to cars. However, the first option offers a limited payload, while the second one means you spend a lot of time in traffic jams. A team of students from Taiwan tried to combine compactness, ease of operation, and maneuverability in an electric cargo trike. Someone ordered six 5-liter bottles of water? Just expand the front end and you can load them in. Need to deliver just a couple of hamburgers? No problem, you have a motorcycle at your disposal. The width of the vehicle is reduced from 1 meter to 65 centimeters. It might seem like a simple idea, but the concept was recognized at the Design Talent Award, one of the most important competitions for the international student community. A shirt that lets you feel the music on your skin? Sounds strange? Well, it's one of Time Magazine's top 100 inventions of 2020. The way it works is that sound is captured by a microphone and converted into a digital signal. The signal is then transmitted via Bluetooth to sensors, which distribute the instruments and start vibrating. The vibrations are transmitted to different parts of the body. For example, low notes resonate in the lower part of the shirt and higher notes in the upper part. This innovation helps people with impaired hearing enjoy a rock concert or an opera. In this video, you can see it being tested with classic music performed by the Hamburg Symphony Orchestra. The shirt is also suitable for games and movies. And for live performances, the Q Pro system allows you to cover the entire concert hall at once. You can pre-order it for $1,800. A new way to explore on water. Explore further than ever before, say the creators of these electric jet boards. The Wave Jam 91 is priced at $5,900. For that money, you get a speed of 16 kilometers per hour and 40 minutes on a single charge. The power of the jet board is 5 kilowatts. Three speeds are available, and the weight is only about 20 kilograms. For the most impatient, a super-fast charger is sold separately. 60 minutes and you're ready to swim again. Explore the coastline, get to previously inaccessible pristine islands, catch every wave, and make your summer unforgettable. That's the kind of entertainment offered to customers. It's all fun, of course, but very expensive. 
According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN, since 1990, the planet has lost 420 million hectares of forests. To make the renewal of the lungs of the planet more effective, a team from Carnegie Mellon University developed these seed carriers. They're made of white oak wood, so they stand upright when moistened and twist the seeds into the soil, protecting them from bad weather and animals. In addition, these shells can also be used to house a variety of sensors and to apply fertilizer. It's ideal for aerial seeding using drones. For example, if you need to restore a forest in a hard-to-reach area after a fire. Don't you think soccer players' salaries are unreasonably high? After all, even robots can play soccer. This one runs at 2.1 meters per second. Now it's being trained for the RoboCup soccer tournament, and in the future, it can be a part of a robot team that will play against the world's best soccer players. Its name is Artemis, and in addition to running, it can walk on uneven surfaces and even somersaults, which will come in handy when celebrating goals. The robot weighs 37 kilograms and has electric actuators inside that imitate human muscles. And since it's a general-purpose robot, in its spare time away from the field, it can do warehouse work, deliveries, and much more. Dyson is a huge company, known to many for its hair dryers, vacuum cleaners, AC units, and similar equipment. Last year, however, Dyson surprised everyone by introducing these headphones. They capture air, filter it, and feed it through a protective mask that comes with the kit. One of the first markets was China, where many people have long suffered from severe air pollution. For $949, customers are offered protection against allergens, construction dust and gas pollutants, 50 hours in music-only mode, and 4 hours in music plus filtration mode, active noise cancellation, and ultra-low distortion. Simply said, the owners will not suffer from noise and dust, and at the same time will enjoy their favorite music. So. The new product will be useful both outdoors and indoors. One of the testers tried them in the office and noted that he stopped hearing extraneous sounds. Imagine you decide to try out a new recipe. So, you find a video, but you can't watch it because your hands are busy. Now, imagine you're repairing your car. Your hands are dirty and then someone calls. Or imagine that you're working with multiple screens at once and you're constantly moving back and forth in your chair. The creators of this gadget have solved these problems. Basically, what they offer are glasses that work as a mouse. You blink to single or double click, you shake your head to highlight an object, and much more from a distance of up to 10 meters. The device is compatible with Windows, Android, and Mac OS, and works with smartphones, tablets, laptops, and PCs. A full charge will take an hour, and it will provide 10 hours of use. And if you wear prescription glasses, just take your gadget to the nearest optician's office and put the right lenses in it. The price for the glasses with a pair of non-corrective lenses is $70. Next up is a project from Estonia. Clevon 1 is an unmanned delivery vehicle. It can drive on public roads and carry up to 100 kilograms, which is profitable because the delivery cost drops by about 30%. Thanks to its modular design, the Clevon 1 is easily adaptable to specific tasks, is shorter than an adult person, and offers a width of 1.1 meters. It has a range of 80 kilometers on a single charge, with the battery charging from 20 to 80% in 45 minutes. The vehicle can be used all year round. By the way, the company has already entered the North American market and conducted successful tests in Belgium. Only one operator is needed to control a fleet of 10 vehicles. By the way, someone suggested an interesting idea in the comments, adding a mode to follow other vehicles.
Heating a pool with solar power? Easy, if you have $140 to spare. Then it's up to the sun. A 15,000 litre pool will heat up about 3 degrees Celsius extra in 24 hours. The size of one panel is 55 by 55 centimeters. It can be used with salt water and has a capacity of up to 7,500 liters per hour. However, you will have to remove the panel for the winter. And if the weather's cloudy, you'll have to think of something else. But you can put several units in at once and rejoice for the environment and your money because solar energy is free. In 2020, global sales of motorcycles amounted to 44.5 million units. If all of them were sold in Switzerland, every citizen would have five bikes. So it's not surprising that there are a lot of motorcycle upgrades in the market. How about a set that turns a motorcycle into a snowmobile? It has a ski in the front and a track in the back. The set is compatible with motocross and enduro motorcycles from all manufacturers. The only condition is that the engine should be between 250 and 650cc. The kit will add 72 kilograms of weight, and the price is $5,000. Yes, for this money, you can get a real snowmobile. But will it be as fun as a snow motorcycle?